Hi right, guys, thanks for tuning in again uh, for this latest fault finding video. Uh, apologies about filming in portrait. Um, the video I'd actually initially filmed uh, sections of it to send to the customer because it wasn't at home. Um, and I hadn't planned on making it into a YouTube video, but it ended up being half decent. So I've stitched it together, um, hence why it's in portrait mode. So um, yeah, apologies for that, but hope you guys find it interesting and hope everyone's having a good bank holiday weekend. Right, Tell. Um your condense is backed up. You see all the water up there? So there's water on top of the PCB casing here as well. And I'm gonna hazard a guess that your condense goes through there. It's come around there and it's probably blocked up in here. So I'm gonna open this up and see what we find in here. Let's have a look. Do you know what? Probably easier to open this one up. <clears throat> Nothing in there at the moment. So let's open this up here and see what we find in here. Right, Tell, it looks like it's actually coming through the flue because if I put my fingers there, look, it's all wet. So it's probably the rains, whereas we've had all this heavy rain last night, it's probably come down, gone, sat probably around there, and dripped into there, and then it's all gone into the boiler from there. So it's not your condense, it's actually just coming from the flue where it's been raining so much. But yeah, I'm gonna get a hairdryer out and dry that all up. So the sump is completely dry, so that's not backed up whatsoever. Um, it is literally, it's just coming through the air intake on the flue and just drip down. That's why it's sitting on there, sitting on there, and it was sitting on top of there. So it's going to dry that all up and retest it. Right, so just to dry everything out on the boiler, uh, put it back on again. Hot water, it's not firing up. Heating, it's firing up. So I've just turn the heating on, turn that back off. Right, boiler goes off. Run a hot tap. Still showing pump over on. Let's... Right, we've got the red light on the low sensor. I reckon a bit of water's got on that. I'm gonna take that out again and try and Dry that up independently, see if that sorts it. Yeah, and there's water in there. There's water on that connection. And there's also water sitting on that turbine. So I'm going to dry that up a bit more and then try it again. I don't know if this will focus enough, but come on. I don't think it's going to focus, but basically on this last end bit here, there's a bit of scale, so it looks like it's shorted itself out a bit. I've dried it up, we'll put it back on and see if it works. All right, let's try that again. That's all it was. Sent the harness needed drying up. There we go. We have hot water demand. Yep, that's getting warm. Back in business, job done. On further inspection, it looks like the chip on the hall effect sensor has had it because it worked and then it stopped working and now this isn't even giving me the solid red light anymore so I'm gonna go and pick up one of these Then out sensor, horizontal rain, came in through the flue, drenched, flooded the boiler in the inside, and shorted out the 
board effect sensor. New one back in, hot water back on.